Hi guys, hi, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing my haul in retrospect for the months of June and July of last year, where we go over everything I hauled in those months last year, these months last year, and talk about how I have utilized them in my collection over the last 12 months. I started doing these because my friend JC used to get mad at me <laughs> because I would haul things in and then never really tell you how I felt about them because I don't really do favorite videos or anything like that. So I started doing these. I've got a very small amount of things to go over with you today, which I think is kind of crazy sauce to be honest because I'm always bringing in a lot of stuff, but there's not much sitting in front of me to be honest. So I'm excited to walk through these items. It's gonna be real short and sweet, although I do like to talk, so it might take, you know, a good minute or two. And with that said, for those of you new here, hi, my name is Donna. I'm a lover of all things high in colorful beauty and self-care. Uh, I also work as a field leader for Ulta Beauty. I get a lot of education in my position. I like to bring you that education here, but ultimately I'm just out here talking about makeup because I like to talk about makeup, and I'm hoping that you also like to talk about makeup because if you do, you have probably found your home here on my channel and I hope that you want to subscribe before you go. I am trying to reach 2k subscribers prior to my birthday. Do I think that that's going to happen? Maybe, maybe not. Stranger things have happened. We are a little over 400 subscribers away and I know that there are several of you out there that are watching that are not subscribed so I, I encourage you. I am I encourage you and think it would behoove you to um, subscribe before you go. I mean, why not? It's totally free and I'm kind of a kick in the pants to hang out with. And I do a grand old one time a year annual giveaway on my channel during the month of September for my birthday. My birthday present to me is to give back to you guys and um, it's kind of also like an anniversary like giveaway on my channel because I started my channel in August. So I just like to give back and you can't be a part of that if you're not subscribed. So I encourage you to subscribe because it is the place to be. It's happening. It's happening. With that said, let's just talk about some makeups, shall we? Because that is what we're here for today. Shameless plug out of the way. Let's talk about the makeup products that I brought in this time last year. So as you all know, or should know, if you've been following me for a second, I work for Old Beauty, get a lot of gratis. And during the month of April, we go to a conference. And during that conference, we get a ton of products from the brands that we carry within Old Beauty's walls, get education back to you, right? We, we talk to these brands and we get the education that give us things to try, things to take back to our teams to try. So during the months of April, May, June, and July, I don't typically bring in a whole lot of products because I am still floating in this sea of brand new products all the time. So while it doesn't surprise me that I don't have much here, it also surprises me that I don't have much here because I've always got new things coming in. During the months of June and July, I did get some gratis as well. We had some new things that came out from Benefit. Benefit is one of the brand partners that I partner with pretty extensively in my position. So usually when they are, you know, launching something new, they'll send us the new launches and they'll also send us some extra products. So with that said, I don't have any of that here with me now for a myriad of reasons. So I'll put pictures of them up here. The first thing that they gave me is this and it is a Benefit Hula. Benefit Hula is a like iconic product for Benefit. It is their bronzer that works well as a contour. It's one of their box powders. This one specifically was in the slimmer box and I already have in my collection and use often in my collection a Hula bronzer that is pretty, that is still in the larger box packaging. So 
This one I did not keep because I had mini mini a bronzer. I do think that I ended up putting it into my giveaway for my birthday that year. So this is no, this is not something that ever went into my collection. The product that was launching at the time I believe was this and this is the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. This was a really great brow wax. I do like this wax probably better than any of the like potted brow waxes that you can like spoolie into your brows like the ABH Brow Freeze or even some of the more like waxy ones that you have to wet. This one you didn't have to wet. It came in like you can see the component that it comes in. It had a spoolie to spoolie through your brows. I did like this product. It was kind of a fickle product though. You like had to run it through your brows in one way and then spoolie it out. And if you had way too much product on there or just enough too much product on the spoolie, like you would get those nice like, like balls of wax in your brows. So it was kind of a pain in the ass to use. A lot of the time um but I did like it I felt like it held my brows up in the best possible brow way but it did make them like kind of crispy in the way that 24-hour brow setter just doesn't so I prefer 24-hour brow setter I do like my brows to still feel soft hair on my face and not like spiky hair on my face so this was a product that I did use up, but I didn't repurchase once it was used up. I did receive another one in gratis at some point in time. I can't remember when. I think that one went to my daughter or it also might have gone into a giveaway. I also ended up getting a benefit Benefit Bad Girl Bang. This was at the time my favorite mascara from them. Now my favorite mascara is the Fan Fest from them, but I still love me a good Bad Girl Bang. And uh, this is a really great mascara that I would continue to repurchase if it wasn't for the Fan Fest. This is like my number two mascara, whereas Fan Fest is my number one now. Then we get into the things that I purchased. So I did purchase also this that I no longer have in my collection because it is used up. This is the Bad Girl Bang Blue. So Bad Gal Bang up until recently just had black or this blue color and this is my hands down favorite mascara for colorful mascara and now they have other colors right you can get blue you can get brown and you can also get a like a burgundy color one and I do have all of those in backup in my collection currently because I got them in gratis recently this Bad Gal Bang blue hands down my favorite blue mascara. I used it, used it up. I haven't repurchased another one, but definitely hands down my favorite colorful mascara. I also bought the Benefit Butter Balm and Desert Retreat, and this is, again, a picture of it. I don't have it anymore because I actually feel like Maybe I decluttered this guy. The one product from Benefit that I can say I've never gotten along with are their lip products. Now, I still have this lip product from them, which is the California Kissing Balm. And I will say, like, it's good in a pinch. But I, I feel like their lip products really dry out my lips. There's nothing spectacular about their lip products. What I did love about this lip product in particular is it had a nice like brownie mid-tone to it. So it really felt like it was almost like a lip gloss versus a balm acted like a lip gloss versus a balm also to some extent I would say it wasn't even glossy though so it did have some color to it it went on like a tube lip balm would but it dried my lips out so bad like I used it right after I got it I used it for days on end and my lips were so chapped at the end of that time frame and I got this in June and July so like they shouldn't have been chapped because of the winter weather or anything like that they were just chapped and I quit using that balm and my lips got better suddenly and then 
started using that balm again a few months later and my lips felt parched and chapped all over again so I knew it was that balm so I just quit using it and I ended up decluttering that. Now we get into products that are still in my collection. This one is a sad one. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder. So I went in to get my brows done and my arch expert talked me into this because it is a brow product from Benefit that I hadn't tried yet. She used powder in her brows. She swore by powder in her brows. This is in the shade 4.5 Neutral Deep Brown and I do like my, my brows to be dark because my hair has always been Vivids or has been for quite some time Vivids. I mean, I think that you guys can see I've not even used this. I'm just not used to using powder in my brows, so it's just not something that even comes to mind in terms of doing my brows. And at the end of the day, I like getting my brows done by an arch expert. I get them tinted, I get them waxed, and then all I put in my brows day over day over day is the 24 hour brow setter, some kind of brow wax or gel and I never really use color in my brows or a pencil or anything in my brows unless my time with an arch expert is well overdue. So I knew better than to purchase this guy but I still purchased it anyways. I haven't even tried it. Number one stupid purchase of the the only truly stupid purchase of Mm, no, I guess that desert, that butter bomb was purchase, stupid purchase number one, but at least I used it. This one I haven't even used. So waste of money, I guess, purchase versus stupid purchase. I also purchased a Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This has been on my list to try for many years, actually. Uh, you know, Tati Westbrook, as well as many other content creators here on the platform, swear by this as the best primer of life. And I don't have like a pore problem or like a texture problem, so to speak. So maybe not the best primer of life for me, but I do love this primer. Like the tiniest bit of this primer really does do you so much to help uh, your makeup application and where I didn't think I had texture, this smoothed out. My makeup just sat so beautifully perfect on top of this primer. It is hands down one of my favorites. I would say better than Tatcha and I do have Tatcha in my collection as well. I just think that, and it's much cheaper than Tatcha. I just think that it is a wonderful primer and to boot, it smells really good. I, I'm not sure what the smell of it is, but you know, it is one of those putty primers. It is meant to like fill in, you know, pores and texture. I think that it does a really good job and it feels good and it's not like slippery. So your makeup just sits so beautifully on top of it. And I love it. I'm glad I purchased it. The next product would be the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Pressed Powder. I remember when I didn't wear makeup, but I went into my very first time going into an Ulta Beauty. I had a, a lady from Bare Minerals sit me down and do a makeup application on my face. And she used multiple different Bare Minerals products, one of which being Mineral Veil, but then it was loose. It was in a loose like packaging. And I remember swearing by that powder for years. So when it came out in a pressed version, I wanted to try it. I got rid of the little like puff that you're supposed to use to put on it because it just wasn't a great puff. I use it with a brush. I also use it with my own like puff. And I just think that it is a wonderful powder. I think it's really beautiful. But I also think that it does have the capacity to look a wee bit. I mean, look, it, it just doled down any kind of like shininess that I had on my skin. Not that I had a lot because I'm not a super oily person. But if you look at this side versus this side, it does really a really great job. But I also think that it causes see, I mean, it does really a great job. But I also think that it causes a level of crepiness and or like 
flashback, which is so silly because we don't use like flash photography all that much anymore. But I can see the flashback without there being flash photography. Like I can see like kind of the white cast on my skin from this powder. And I don't remember that ever being the case with the loose powder ever. When I use a brush with this, it's less likely to happen in that way. But I also don't get the like, you know, pinpointed use of the product for those shiny areas in the way that I would with a powder puff when I'm using a brush. So I don't mind it. I do, I do like the powder, but I just feel like it is a powder that you have to put on and then just kind of blend out. Otherwise you're going to end up with creepiness, dry, like what, like um, too powdery, right? Too powdery, a thought process on your, on your skin as well as flashback without needing uh, flash photography in a way that's unheard of these days. I, I don't mind it. I just also don't love it. But I'm also just not a powder person. So there's that. Take, take what I say about that with a grain of salt. And then I also, at that point in time, Natasha Denona had come out with her Yucca collection and I did purchase some of the items from the Yucca collection. So let's start with these. These are the eyeliners and I do have all three that came out with the collection. So I have Camu Camu, which is kind of the like chartreuse like limey yellow color. And then I have Fushi, right? Which is kind of the mustard yellow color. And then we have Willow, which is the really like tealy green color. And even though this looks like emerald green, it is definitely more of a like um, deep tealy green color. I, I fell in love with these. These are really, really good. I wouldn't say that they're my favorite eyeliners, um, but I, I do love them. I love them more than MAC eyeliners. I love them more than Smashbox eyeliners, which I love Smashbox eyeliners. I do not love them more than LA Girl eyeliners, which is crazy sauce because these are like three times, 10 times the amount of an LA Girl eyeliner. And I also would say that Urban Decay eyeliners and these ones are kind of like reminiscent of each other, but the Urban Decay ones last longer. So not necessarily my favorite eyeliner formula, but I do like them. They're just maybe not as creamy as some of the other ones that I mentioned. And even though the other ones are creamy, they do stick around, so I have no problems with them. My favorite of these three colors is probably this one, just because the Camu Camu is such a really vivid, like bright yellowy green, that it is such a pretty color for green or yellow, or even honestly, like orangey eye looks on the under, on the waterline, but also the inner corner. Like this is a great like inner corner chartreuse color um, that you can just put on. And because it's so creamy, you can dab it with your pinky finger or a brush and it's not gonna go away. It is quasi waterproof and it's going to create impact in your eye look. I also love it for putting down anywhere that I'm going to be putting like a brighter yellowy green color, chartreuse green color as a base so that that color has something to adhere to and go on to that's going to last forever and give it a backing because those kind of colors and powders typically fade a lot faster than you know, the darker colors in terms of powders. And then the Yucca palette quickly became one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes. I think that ultimately when I'm looking at this, I see all these beautiful like grungy green, like fall toned eyeshadow looks that would just be beautiful and are beautiful. This is a 
gorgeous eyeshadow palette so much fun to use i had a lot of really beautiful looks that came out of utilizing this palette and i do have a palette roulette which is my review series here on my channel i do have one on this palette specifically that i will go ahead and link for you i think that there is not a dud in this palette as far as i'm concerned i love this color story and I love it for fall specifically but I think that it is a good color story for ultimately any time of year because it can be very very neutral like work appropriate kind of eye looks for you. This is a palette from Natasha Denona that I would say that is a palette that kind of crosses that colorful but not scary colorful line Whereas most of Natasha Denona palettes are either, you know, too colorful for work appropriate or too like neutral for colorful, if that makes any sense. I know that she has some anomalies in her line, but I love, love this palette and could not be happier that it is in my collection. That is all the products that I brought in in the months of June and July of last year. And as I said, I am a little bit shocked that this is all. I mean, ultimately, I have seven products here sitting in front of me to talk to you guys about. The other ones are either no longer in my collection because I use them up or no longer in my collection because I got rid of them because I either didn't love them or already had them. But I'm really happy that of the products that I purchased, you know, the from the Bag Al Bang Blue to the Butter Balm Desert Retreat and the Benefit Brow Powder to all of these products. Like there's only one product that I really, really did not love that I ended up decluttering and one product that I haven't used at all. So with that said, that is my haul in retrospect for June and July of last year, going over the purchases that I made last year and how I feel about them today and how they've been used and abused in my collection. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I would be interested to hear your thoughts down in the comments section or for you to tell me what you brought in last year that you regret purchasing last year or what you brought in last year that you absolutely cannot put down that you love so, so dang much. I, I would enjoy hearing from you guys. So please don't forget to hit me up down in the comments section. I always love our conversations that happen down there. And with that said, like I just really thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you and yours are well. I hope that you are all safe and healthy and getting along as best you can. I hope that you are all loving each other, being kind humans and enjoying your day wherever in the world you are. And until next time, bye friends.